Welcome back to Living Local. The Augustana College Music Department is taking their act on the road. And here to tell us all about it is Dr. James Lambrecht, Director of Bands at Augustana College, which is also this segment sponsor. How are you, sir? Good morning. Good hey, to man. see you. Thank you for yeah. coming in. This well, is great. Thanks for having me, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. So, hey, your uh, upcoming spring tours are just about here, and the two of they kick off this week, right? Yes, they do. That's that's good. Tell us a little bit about those. those well, are... we've been touring at Augustana for a long time. The symphonic band that I conduct has been touring since the 1880s, believe it or not, <laughs> and uh, with several times off you know sure. throughout the years and the Augustana Choir our other main touring ensemble has been also touring you know since the 1920s so wow. those are the two main touring groups and then we also have uh, secondary ensembles that also tour our oh, Jenny wow. Lynn chorus of course also tours they've been touring now I think for about seven or eight years mm -hmm. off and on a little bit of course, COVID got in the way of some of these things, didn't it? Sure, sure. Yeah, we're familiar with that already. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, and then we also have an orchestra that has begun touring, mm -hmm. and uh, we hope to get them back on the road. They aren't going out this year, okay. but we hope to do that very soon. And how long have you been going out on the road with these bands? Well, I've been out, uh, this is my 37th year at Augustana, wow, so I've done congrats, 37 man. years of touring, but we had to take about three years off. Sure, sure. You know, because of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, so this will be about my 34th. Tour with that's the awesome, Augustana man. Band, that's yeah. that. Congratulations. That's so cool. So, are any of those performances happening locally before you guys take it out on the road? We're actually not doing anything really locally. What happens for us is that we come back and we perform what's called the oh, home okay. concerts. Oh, cool. And okay. those will be in April, April sixth for both the Augustana Choir, two o'clock, and seven o'clock for the Augustana Symphonic Band. Oh, that's cool, man. You go out on the road and you come back and yeah. you have a nice homecoming. That's yeah. cool. So, you know, why is it important for the college to, to take these students on these tours? And I guess, what are the benefits to the students? Well, there are several things, actually. The, the first thing is, of course, the music. And sure. the students get to perform the music and mm -hmm. get to perform it more than one time. Normally, when we prepare a concert, we only get to prepare it and then perform the music once. Mm -hmm. This gives us an opportunity to uh, perform as little as four or five times, up to sure. as many as 10 to 15 times on the same literature. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can continue to improve it. There are pedagogical reasons why that, that is really wonderful. But it's also fun just to get to share it with as many different people as we can. Yeah. There's also components of recruiting involved. We go oh, to sure. high schools, for instance, with the band. Smart. And That's we're recruiting smart. students that way and doing joint concerts sometimes with their bands. Uh, there's also an alumni connection, so many alumni throughout oh, the world sure. actually come yeah. to our concerts wherever we are uh, with all the various groups, and so that's a, an important uh, component to this as well. And then there's yeah. also fundraising, of course, well, and of all course, sorts yes. of things. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, how does a student determine if they want to be, you know, a college musician and what kind of commitment is involved in taking that kind of a risk because there's a it's not just something simple it's mm -hmm. it's a pretty in-depth thing well they they know coming in so they'll be auditioning to come into the school they'll be auditioning for scholarships and whatever sure. and also yeah. to participate in our ensembles and mm -hmm. we make them aware of what the touring ensembles are like and usually that's the groups that they want to be in so oh, sure they want to have the opportunity to go last year for instance the Augustana band was in uh, Japan for two weeks Right? Oh, you don't cool. get a chance to do that very often. The Augustana no. Choir two years ago was in Germany in the Czech Republic, for instance. And so it's a great experience that they get to have in addition to all these other benefits. Well, yeah. And you said so 34 years you've been touring with mm -hmm. students. That's incredible. So what are your favorite memories from that? You must uh, be flooded with them, right? It's <laughs> hard to probably thousands. pick one. Yeah, yeah. There, are, <laughs> there are thousands of, of wonderful memories. I've often joked with the, the tour managers that helped me put these together. It'd be nice to just write a book sometime of memories. That would be these. pretty rad, actually. And there's yeah. A, yeah, there's actually a book that was written about a very famous tour in 1920 where the band first went to Europe and uh, actually got stranded in Europe oh, because crazy. the tour manager was a Swede and he actually ended up uh, stealing all of their money, all their funds, and so the band was stranded oh, in the summer of 1928 and had wow. to find their way back home. So some of them had funds wired to them and some of them yeah. you know had to work their way off so they worked in cafes in paris oh and, man in order to earn steamship passage back to the united states that's so a, that's a screenplay right yeah, there exactly. that, that's a movie that's great right there well it's a wonderful it's a wonderful story and uh, there's story. actually a book out there that talks about it and i've had the privilege being here as long as i had mm -hmm. i've actually met some of the people that were on that tour 
and yeah. it's just amazing the stories that they tell. But again, yeah. musically it was fantastic, and then of course. you have this this intrigue, of course, of having to oops, something just <laughs> happened to yeah. them, and they have to find their way back. What's the name of that book? Do you know? Off the uh, top of your head? I can't remember. I think it's just the the, it. the famous 1928 tour of the Augustana Band or something I'll like that. I have to check that out because yeah. that sounds fascinating. It's I love in the that. Augustana Library. I'm not sure how many copies of it are out there, but I have several myself. Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, let's. Uh, I, I could get into the weeds yeah. about that, but we exactly. got to get back on track here. So, what's the biggest challenge, you know, as a conductor and a musician, and, and pulling these kind of tours off? Because it's a, probably a strategic yeah. and logistical. Yeah, it's the logistics. Uh, yeah. You're exactly right. Uh, logistics, especially for an instrumental ensemble, are pretty extreme. And so, this week, as we're getting ready to leave, we leave on Friday. Uh, the the problem's going to be how do we pack everything, how do we fit it in the truck, we rent the truck, and, and yeah. of course that follows us along, and you yeah. know, we have to pack carefully so that the instruments are not damaged yeah. or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, let's talk about, if somebody's interested in, in just real quick, you know, kind of uh, getting involved in the music department, how can they learn more? Well, the easiest thing is just our website, of, okay. obviously, so augustana.edu, www.augustana.edu, simple. Yeah. And then go to the music department website, you can find out information there. There's a lot of uh, presence on social media, yeah. and so, so on, so you can find us just about anywhere. Perfect. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for coming in, man. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to look that book up because that sounds fascinating, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it is. It really is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Again, this segment was sponsored by Augustana College. You can learn more when you visit augustana.edu. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.